Hey y'all. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Um Alright. So I know I'm probably like about it looks like I'm about four minutes early. Um and so uh my bad for being a little early. Sorry about that. But I'm a I just had to just be a little early. Because I just really gotta get this off my chest. Now as y'all know, I'm a person that goes by just what it is. I'm not no fake B that go about what it ain't or what it look like and all that stuff like that. I'm a person, I live my life very transparently. And that's uh, that's how I have always been. I've never been a person to, hey everybody, how you doing? I will not be requesting nobody to go live. I'm so sorry. Um, and maybe at some points of this, I might cut off the comments, but I'll usually let the comments roll. I'm that type of person. But I definitely want to clear some stuff up because of what I just witnessed. And it did not sit right with me. Like, I have nothing against nobody as far as dealing with that show. But I'm going to just be real with y'all. I'm only going to speak from my perspective. I can't speak from nobody else's perspective. As far as what's going on with some other stuff, and if you're looking for that, that that's not what you're going to hear. You're going to hear the truth. Whether it's good, bad, or ugly, you're going to hear what really, really happened with that show. And what happened, how it started from the beginning, and whatever. I will say this. What prompted my conversation with y'all tonight is that I just had to witness um, some cast members of the show. Can you talk about how you purchased your home? No. What does that have to do with what we talk about now, sister? Oh, hold on. Let me get you to a lie. Let me, let me, let me get you to a lie. Stupid. You already messed with me. You already. See. We talk about the LGBTQ plus reality show that was filmed in October of 2020. Um, she ain't coming? You coming, sister? Because we need to find out what you're talking about. Because you pissed me off already. Like, how does this have something to do with it? No, you, you look like you want to get out of here. Let's get you up out of here. All right. So I'm talking about... So I'm talking about there was a LGBTQ plus reality show that we were filming that was filmed in October of 2020, October and the beginning of November. I think we had a couple uh, things in October. Uh, it's, it, I believe it was October um, of last year. Uh, when I say we, I'm speaking of myself. I'm speaking of uh, Miss Tiny, Mrs. Tiny Harris and um, Shekinah Joe. It's the three people that I'm talking about when I say us. All right, so let me explain something to y'all. <sighs> Initially, probably the, the summer of 2020, um, my Shekinah told me that she had an idea for a LGBTQ plus reality show. And she explained to me her idea. And I said, well, let me look at some research and stuff and see about what it, because it sounds good when she explains to me the idea. The idea came from Shekinah. I'm not saying this because she's my friend. I'm saying this because this is what happened. Um, she brought the idea to me, being gay, of course. Uh, and I looked up some stuff and I researched some stuff and I said, it's a good idea, let's do it. Let's roll with it. Um, at the time, uh, Sip Cosmetics was doing real well. Um, and at the time, I was doing real well uh, with that. And uh, I had made, I had cleared profit-wise, uh, probably my first twenty thousand dollars, and so definitely I'm a person to look for investments. And I asked her if I could invest with her on the show. She said yes. I was also bringing along not only my money but my expertise as well. Of course, being an entertainer in the LGBTQ plus community, this is just facts. So this was the summer of 2020. Um, shortly thereafter, we began to put down writing down and talking about the perspectives that we had for the show, some of the people that we wanted to implement as characters and how we wanted the show to go and stuff like that. Um, for her being, her, her experience on reality TV uh, was, took precedent over some of my ideas and that was fine. However, some of my ideas were in, implemented as well. So this became a joint thing. This is, this is what was going, this was, this was going down through the whole summer. Um, around this time last year, like July, early August, she had the idea of bringing Tiny aboard for name recognition only. 
nobody's beefing. I'm just telling you the truth. If you listen, if you calm down, can't stop getting ahead of y'all stuff, and y'all will know. Um, she wants to bring Tiny aboard because of name recognition. Of course, Tiny has a lot of recognition. Name recognition, you cannot deny that. That's just what it is. Love it or like it, she has a lot of name recognition, especially in the reality show realm. So the object of being an investor in a reality show is to get the show sold or picked up by network. That is the object. You record a pilot. The pilot is then shopped around. And the first network, the, or not the first, but the network that cuts the highest check is going to be the network that puts it on. That's kind of like how it goes. Of course, if you have Tiny's name to it, it has a little more value. And so that's why she was added. From the get-go, uh, I, I or her did not need any of Tiny's money. I shouldn't need my money. More or less, I was added on because of my expertise in the LGBTQ plus community and entertainment. Tiny was added on for name recognition, but this, to be honest with you, was Shekinah show idea from inception to financing. Um, so around September, we decided, we had a meeting and discussed on how uh, the preface was the show was. Uh, Tiny brought on, Tiny and Shekinah have a manager and his, uh, has a pub, uh, I don't know what he is, but it's a white guy named Nick. He is the person that kind of represented them with kind of getting the show logistics on the, um, off the ground. Um, and they put in together a whole team. We ended up hiring a crew. Um, we ended up getting a spot. We ended up getting um, a lot of stuff for the background, but the logistics, when we say like the building, the flyers and the stuff like that, the stuff that y'all saw as far as that, that is a lot of background information. I was definitely privy to all of the meetings. I have never missed one. When I was called upon to do something, I certainly did it. Uh, I certainly not only added my expertise, but I did add my money. I will say this, that seeing the show and having an exception and seeing how cohesive everything worked was, was something that I was excited to be a part of. I was definitely, definitely excited to be a part of something that was so monumental because there's really no LGBTQ plus show. There's really not. As far as just having an all LGBTQ plus um, cast and then having a, a member of the LGBTQ plus community as far as having some decision-making ability in the show. That would be me. Um, with that being said, we finalized everything in September and had an audition date for October. Um, when we started putting in stuff, uh, we started putting in our finances at that time. Um, it was loosely based on verbal agreements. However, everybody that put some money in for something, they kept their receipts for what they did. Um, the show, we recorded the pilot for the show. We recorded our audition on October 16th. We began recording for the show uh, about two weeks later, which would have been the end of October and the beginning of November. And we recorded about over a week in Atlanta, Georgia. During that time, some of the people, some of the more famous people that y'all know on the show, The Real Super Bitch, Shamar, um, The Wind Twins, uh, Nutty Buddy, uh, there was so many, it was a lot of people, I'm sorry, Snoop, there's a lot of people that y'all know that was on the show, some people that y'all may not know. Um, the premise of the show was to be one, okay, you can't sell a show if you don't have drama, so of course we had our drama, but we also want to highlight the talents of some of the people that was the LGBTQ, LGBTQ in and around that time. Um, we had a lot of people that auditioned, a lot of people didn't make it, but a lot of people did, and we, 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 got a uh, Airbnb outside of Louisiana, excuse me, outside of Atlanta, and filmed for a week. I will not lie to you. The filming process was probably one of the most grueling parts, uh, one of the most grueling things that I have held in Dubber because I didn't know it got that serious. And it was so many times where I was just like, I wanted to pull my hair out. I will, I will say that working with um, Shekinah and Tiny both are very, like they're, 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 both of them are perfectionists. Both of them have certain expectations that they expect. It's not subpar, especially when it comes to stuff like that. And I had to learn that very quickly. Um, I was the, 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 there are titles on shows that people have, one of those being executive producer, one of those being associate producer, because 
I um, did not have enough credentials to be an executive producer. I was given an associate producer title on the show, meaning that I had some power over creativity. Outside, ultimately, the 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 outside decisions will become from Tiny and Shekinah, um, who were both the only, the sole and only executive producers. Um, I did stuff though that was expected of me, and I did stuff that wasn't expected to me because I wanted to be a team player. When it came time to draft contracts, I draft the contracts. I do have a paralegal degree, so I did draft contracts. Uh, when it comes time to make sure that the buildings were secure, I did a lot of that. When it came time to doing this and stuff, now when it came to like production and camera crew, I was lost. But that was a lot of Shekinah doing. When I say, when I'm talking about like, when I saw like the stuff that I had no idea what I was doing, which was a lot of stuff like as far as anything, they, Shekinah took care of all that. I mean, she would take a spearheaded and she would just do it. Even when it came down to doing confessionals, nobody knew how to do the confessionals. She actually sit up there and did it herself. I saw her sit behind the camera. I saw her sit on the side. I saw her sit everywhere that need to be sit. And I will honestly say that I think when it comes to work percentages, I felt like I did a lot of work, but I would say my work percentages was probably like 30%. I would say Shekinah's is probably 60%. And I would say Tiny's was at least about 10, understandably. So she was only brought off for name recognition. But at the end of the day, she did do her part when it came to uh, that. I will say that I don't know what work she did, outside of being there when we had the time and making sh and then fussing at everybody because of lackluster this that and the other now this is not a barb against tiny okay because that's not what because honestly this is shekinah show this is her idea this is not a barb against this tiny but what i just witnessed was members of the cast go on tiny live and thank her for the opportunity but you, that's not where your opportunity came from. And I'm about to explain what I'm saying about that now. Now, when it came, like I said, when it came time to pay stuff and do this stuff like that, whatever, whatever, I'm telling you, and y'all know me, I'm very good with math and receipts and stuff like that. Now, you can listen to me or not, or you can believe what you're not, whatever. So she paid for it? No. $54,000 was the total for Make That Pilot. It was $54,000. There's not a soul who didn't get paid. $54,000. Of the $54,000, she kind of put in $32,000. I put in $15,000 and Tiny put in $7,000. That's what the receipts are showing. I looked at the receipts not too long ago just to make sure my... Now, it's in some change for each one of those. But at the end of the day, that's what it is. So at the end of the day, it is Shekinah Show for the majority of finance-wise and works-wise because that equates to what it is. I put in $15,000, including, a lot of people didn't even know, the liability and the, the Airbnb, I rented that. I did that. That's, that was in my name. I took care of that as well as a, a few other things. So that's not even a thing. This is just real facts. So when you when you looking at you thanking somebody for the opportunity, but you're not thanking the people that really gave you this opportunity. Because I have these people have been on TV. I have never been on TV. And these are my aspirations to be on television. I have yet to do so. I've auditioned for this. I've auditioned for that. I've even put this money. Now, I put in the $15,000, my $15,000 that my broke ass thing got so they say I'm broke or whatever. Um, and this is just always facts, and this is always what it is. It's just what it is. Now, like I said, she kind of her, and her receipts are totaling two, thirty-two thousand dollars. My receipts are totaling fifteen thousand dollars, and Tyler receipts are totaling seven thousand dollars. When I talk about work, I'm saying she kind of work was about sixty percent behind the scenes and everything she had to do. My work was about thirty percent because I also was all screen talent. I was the mother of the house, and Tiny work was basically doing an audition and being a judge at the. The, the finale. As far as the day-to-day -day operations, she was there sometimes, sometimes she wasn't. But that was, you know, whatever. It was about 10%, and that's my, that's what I think. So when you're thanking somebody for the opportunity, what are you doing? But that's okay. I want to let that, so what I want to let out is not the fact that who did what, it's the fact that if you're thanking somebody for the opportunity, they should have given you the opportunity. Is that correct? So in my mind, it's like the single greatest person of why that show is not on air today is not because of me, of course. Technically, if I had my choice, the shit would have aired the next day. Um, it's not because of Shekinah, because she put in the most money. So if the show don't air, she don't make no money. So if, of course, so the single greatest deterrent of why that show is not on the air today is because of Tiny. And I'm explaining why what I'm saying right now. All right. So um, the show, first of all, the sh and I'm explaining something to why. Now, everybody knows I'm not getting into why, what happened with all that stuff. That's not my business. I'm not going to do that. I don't have nothing against this woman. I have met her only a few times in life, and every time I met her, it's been productive and positive. It's not because she's hating. I think it's because 
a lot of her other life took precedent over this. All right? Now, when a lot of that stuff was going on, you know what I offered? And this is what I did. I went to Shekinah. I had already talked to two members of the case. I talked to... So the first thing that started it was the editing component. We filmed, we finally wrapped on filming. We got all the film, we got all the footage, we got a lot of footage, retakes and stuff like that, everything, we got all that. The next thing to do, which was the edits. Now this is the component that was the meat of what she put in because she paid for the editing, which was 5,000 and 7,000 she spent. Um, that happened, we wrapped filming in early, early November and the editing did not start till February, nearly three months later. But that was because of the disconnect between Tiny and the editor. What up? All right. So the next component about that, when everything was still taken, all the stuff started happening with her personal business that have nothing to do with me and I'm not going to talk about, is the fact that I, I strongly felt that this may be a deterrent to getting this show put So I offered to do this because what I did was I went to Chicago with on with the, uh, some money that I had left and I had two other investors and I'm not going to lie to you, it was the Wind Swings and Super, the real Super Bitch, not Super Sam, the real Super Bitch and the Wind Swings. They had promised me, uh, they had, we all talked and said, listen, we love the show. The show was a good, sh the show was a great show. Like literally I'm watching some people that had I mean, it's just a great show. It's not no question about it. The show is great. I would sit down and watch it. And I'm not saying it because I'm on it. I'm saying it if it, well, I wasn't on it, I would watch the show. If these girl, these punks and dykes, they go crazy on the show. It's that good. So I'm not going to tell no lies. This is just what it is. Y'all can go with it how you want. But as you think it's somebody, understand that this person is probably the single greatest deterrent because, because if y'all know Sydney Star, Sydney Star was also on our show, but she also filmed a show uh, for the Zeus Network afterward. Guess where that show was filmed? At the same house that we filmed our show five months before. That show has come out, been edited, and been on Zeus and about to do a season two. It's not nothing about no soon or nothing. I'm just, I'm just looking at how people are thanking somebody for an opportunity that didn't give them one. And so I'm looking at yeah, nut cut up for real. Nut had a fight and everything, Sean. Hey, man, it was so much stuff that was going on with the show. It's just, it was, it was a great show. So my part is, so I came to Chicago on with the twins and my money, the twins' money, and super money. All of us were on the show, so it made sense. And I offered Chicago a, 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 look, I will give you your money back in a certain percentage. Boom. She agreed to it. So she didn't want to hinder the show. She said, I love the show. This is my show. And it's her show because it's her idea. She came to me with the idea. And so this is her show. It's no question about that in my mind. And so... Offered to, and she agreed to sell her part of the show. I already had my part of the show. I went to Tiny with the same offer. Listen, let us just buy the show. Like right now, probably it's not going to go good for y'all or whatever the case may be. Focus on whatever you need to focus on. But all these people, and you have to understand how hard it is for us in the LGBTQ plus uh, in, in our life to make it. It's very difficult. A lot of times we just better kept behind the scenes doing hair and makeup or something. As far as us being forefront and having our own thing and stuff like that, it's very difficult sometimes. Unless you're somebody like a RuPaul or something, you can just make it happen. But in the case of us, it's very different. And so I believe in the show. I put my blood in the show. I put my sweat in the show. I put my heart, my soul in the show. I put my money in the show. I literally, I literally took every dollar I made. Listen, I cleared for the first time $20,000 on my, on my company. I cleared twenty thousand dollars, and I just took fifteen thousand and put it in the show. And that's just not including the stuff I had to buy for myself. I really went broke behind the show. When you cover talk about broke, I really believed it so much. I gave my last, so I know. I'm not saying you know she, she kind of got money, so thirty two thousand dollars might not mean nothing to her, or in the case of she, tiny seven thousand might not mean nothing to her. But my little fifteen thousand dollars that means something to me. That means something to me. And so this is why I'm hurt because I'm watching people who I fought so hard who Shekana fought so hard for to give y'all the opportunity. And even so, this is why I say she fought hard. And I'm not jumping for Shekana because whatever happened between her and Tiny is between her and Tiny. They have nothing to do with me. I have nothing to do with that. That's between them. And I want y'all to know 
that's what's happening. You're thinking this woman for giving you an opportunity that she didn't have because I don't have nothing to do with that. And when I asked her, ma'am, let me pay you for this show. I will pay you for what you got, and then I'm gonna give you this stuff on the back end because I have enough money. I ha I have enough money, but with super money and the twins' money, we have enough money to just buy a check and get the show. And that way, because they do have rights, they do have intellectual right, property rights. I have some as well. So it's not about the money. It's not about the money because I believe in the show. I want the show free. Why are you thanking for the show? The show not free. Free the show is what I'm saying. I'm not saying nothing about no money. I believe in the show. I don't want the money. I want the show on TV. Y'all need to see this stuff. This stuff was so good. Y'all need to see this stuff. And I'm watching people that was on the show thank her for being on the show that she stopped the show. Because you could have said, well, here, shake it. Was, we cut my check. And I could have went and sold the show. But she didn't want to because she said she was going to sold the show. Now, I don't know. I don't, want, I don't want a show. I'm not hating. I'm not hating. I'm saying that free the show. Since they're thanking you for this opportunity, free the show. You could have got them people on TV already. If that's what you was going to do. I don't want this show to be something that you're trying to use against Shekinah. Shekinah saw the show and fell in love with the show. She fell, she fell in love with the idea that was her idea. Of course, she wanted a baby, but she wanted to see it go forth so bad that she was willing to set it to me. And this woman cried when I asked her that. Because y'all know how, how, how she feel about some people and the thing. This woman cried when I asked her about buying the show because this is her idea. So at the end of the day, I'm sitting up there watching Shamar and, and Tyrus and all these people who are on the show thanking somebody for a show that the, the single deterrent for us not having a show is this. It's the person you thinking for the show that's not accurate. Y'all don't know, I spent my last on the show. I spent my last. I had to have, if I, I swear to God, I'd probably be broke today if it wasn't for myself for uh, Black Friday. I was broke the whole month of November, baby. Y'all didn't see it. I don't talk about it. I don't cry about it. It is what it is. That's life. I took, I took a risk. I want to invest in me. I want to invest in, in what y'all see. I want to invest in entertaining y'all because, because I feel that's my job. So I just, I, I had to come live just to kind of clear it up, get that off my chest because it's emotional. I have spent many sleepless nights. I have spent many of things because you know, you, I don't know about y'all, but if I'm not no rich bitch to be saying, oh, I could just drop $15,000 and say whatever. I'm not going to do, I'm not no, I'm not no got it like that bitch to come and say, oh, I could just put another show on TV or something like that. No, this was my change. This was what I was looking at. This was what was going on. This was the thing. And this is like how I feel is what was going on. And y'all just don't really know what's going on in the background. I done been fussed out. I done been cursed out. I done been everything. But I took that in, in, in a grain of salt to say, and, and oh man, I'm talking about Andrew Hope. Pretty out here. And I feel like and I'm not, and so listen, and so my point is only, it's not about the investment. I, it's not about that, y'all. Y'all just don't know when you believe in something, when you know something, when you see something. It's like, damn, y'all over there thanking somebody that y'all just don't know. This is like, if all she had to do was say yes. And I could have got that show sold. I could have bought that show. All, all you had to do, you trying to make it, so you using the show, it looks like to me like she using the show to make Shekinah, like get into it with Shekinah more or whatever. It's like, wow. Or whatever. I don't know what's going on. That's not my business. All I know is that this show here is for us. Yeah, we needed them. We needed them. We had to have them, but it's for us. She kind of gave this idea to y'all and put up $32,000 of her own money. I put $15,000 of mine. It's not just about adding her out and stuff like that. It's about it's about it's not even about that. And it's not even about, it ain't about none of that. This show is a good show that I believe in. I will watch it Sunday. I don't even watch TV. And it hurts me to see like us always doing it to us and you bigging this woman up, go thank Shekinah. Or come over and thank me one time. Y'all don't even know, I'm in my legs. But y'all saw me in the show, I had a Hyundai at the time. What the fuck you mean? I'm late on my car payments and everything. Y'all saw, you know, I fought for y'all too. Shekinah fought for y'all too. But y'all going over there and thank Tiny, like what? And I'm looking at, well, I'm, well let's get the show. It's been. It's literally been October, we were, excuse me, November, we have out the event. November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. That's nine months. I could have had a baby by that time. The, the other show that's sitting starting them did the, the rap production and showed you the first season already. Why is our show not that? It ain't about all that. It's about just simply 
us putting together something for us, and that's that bewilders me. I don't, I ain't want to add nobody. This was just my own little thing. I don't want to get you involved on the less or whatever, whatever. But this was a great show. It, it is a great show, and that's a great show that I still believe. What's up, man? So I'm listening. So yeah, I'm listening to you or whatever, and um, and I and I listen, and 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 you have every right to um feel the way that you feel, and um, I respect that, by the way. Um, but I I, I want to say that you know. With with you saying that it was a lot of assumptions that um, I feel that you probably did not know the backstory as to you know what what has happened between or what the backstory as to how I got on the show. So right now it just seems right now it just seems like you you just know the surface part as to how and what and how the relationship that I may have with somebody that I was on the live with. So which is Tiny, which is. Um, just a little backstory. So basically, Tiny, I knew Tiny um, before the show. Tiny was, um, I did Tiny's hair before because I'm also a celebrity hairstylist and makeup artist, but singer first. So my relationship with Tiny came from Freddio. Freddio is um, a mutual friend. And so that relationship, I even asked, I even asked Freddio. I said, Freddio, I said, could you please get me, um, you know what I'm saying, on the show or whatever? Um, well, no, no. Yeah, I did ask him. I said, could you, you know, put in a good word for me on the show? Not get me on the show. Just put a w good word in, in for me because he's my friend. Freddie also said he didn't want to deal with, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, with the, with, the, with the show because of the affiliation of being with a group of people that it was going to be nothing but drama. And so long story short so i said well you know what i'm going to use my gift i'm talented i can sing my face off so let me just go ahead and just try to go to the show and and try it out so um i did that and and i sung in the in, in the in the in the in the middle of the hallway because i knew that you guys were going to overlook me so it was i knew that you guys were going to overlook me so i said let me warm up my voice really quick so when i get into that audition room like shit can be you know what i'm saying copacetic so Long story short, the girl heard me. Nobody was paying attention to me. Everybody was flipping. Shamar was going off. Everybody was doing their thing. Nobody was paying attention to little Tyrus. But when I opened my mouth and fucking sung in that hallway and I warmed up my voice, all the cameras was on me. Now they was paying attention to the boy in the all black with the locks. Like, who the fuck is he? Who he don't came and then shut some shit down. So, mind you, Freddie O didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? Freddie O didn't put in a good word for me, but I came and I worked my ass off for my own goddamn self. Okay. I did not, you know what I'm saying? I did not get a handout on this shit. I did not get a handout from Freddie O because Freddie O didn't want to be a part of it. Oh. And, the sap, and, 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 and the beauty of it is, is now I can say that Freddie O didn't help me to get on shit. I already had did tiny some hair months before I even got on, months before I even got on the show. So this relationship that you see in here with me on the live thinking, um, I never once thanked, thanked Tiny for the opportunity on, t on today. I said, thank you for your beautiful sphere. Yes, she has given me the opportunity that she has done. Tiny has given me opportunities that um, she was the first one that, that, that put all, when I saw for the audition in that room, all three of y'all phones was out. The first person to post me on their story was Tiny. The the um the the first person to post me on their on their page was you, MC Shaky. And I thanked you. I thanked you. I did post. I did several posts. I'm talking about several posts. And not one time. Not one time did you ever add me to Bigo with y'all. Not one time did you ever, like, one time you thanked me under the post of thanking you and just showing my gratitude and doing a post and putting you guys in it, thanking you. I remember doing it at least minimum three times on my page, thanking you and, um, and being grateful and humble that you guys decided to use your platform to help me okay. to get on. So listen, okay. Number one, check this out. I posted you on my page and it's still up there. She posted her stories, it's not. Let's number, let's do that. So let's not turn this into a pissing match. Second of all, 
if I didn't want you on that show, you was not going to be on that show. And that's just permanent, period. And I'm going to tell you why you were not going to be on that show. Because my, produ- my associate producer role was of creativity and, and over the cast. That was my job. If I didn't want you on that show, you weren't going to be on that show no matter who said what. And that's just part of what was, that was just part of what was agreed to by the executive producers and myself, especially with my money. The second part about that, the third part about that is, guess what? God gave you something. It's called talent. That's what got you on the show. Not doing a right. bitch hand, not coming from flip flip. Nobody put your clothes on that day. Nobody drove you to the audition. And nobody opened your mouth and nobody put the song out but the man upstairs. So at this right. point, don't you come and tell me about no motherfucking nobody doing somebody hair and looking for a way in. What got you to that show is when you came and you sung in front of me, I could right. not say nothing else but goddamn this boy could sing and he needs to be on the show. You were sitting in front of Tiny, and she said, God damn, this boy can sing, and he's going to show. And you said in front of Shekinah, and she said the same thing. God damn, this boy can sing. God gave you that. Don't you give that to no man. You I didn't give that. I never gave you, that hold to Shekinah. Yes, you did. Yes, no, you did. I did not. First thing, oh, yes, you did, sir. Because okay. the first thing you just said, and then you were complaining about not being put on Beagle or something. I can't explain all that. Beagle's a whole different thing. That's a whole different check of mine. They have nothing to do with what we talk about right now. My thing is, while you appreciate somebody, this is the truth I'm telling. I'm taking thinking my truth about what I experienced dealing with the situation. Okay? This is what I can show you right now. I don't have to show you. I can show you right now. Hold on. I, I never wow. think. I never think no matter. I, show, like, I know who. Okay. Right there. Okay. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. All right. This is a text message. Mm-hmm. Right? That's mm-hmm. between me and Tiny. Offer her her money for the show. And she said, nope, they want to go ahead and move on it. She doesn't want to sell. This is what the message said. And I understand. I get what your, you're saying. So your opportunity, I'm letting you know. This My, is what you're not seeing. Yeah. This is what you're not seeing. Nobody gave you opportunity but Jesus Christ himself. And, and I know that. Works. And I, and so I have a ain't nobody going to stop you. And what's for you, you're going to have. Exactly. And so, so, and so, so what you're saying. And saying. Getting on a, a, a thing or whatever, whatever you could have come there with. You couldn't sung. They had, let me tell you something. It was two things people was picked for. It was picked for talent and it was picked for drama. That's exactly. what it was picked for. The exactly. drama people were the drama people were more or less pre picked. The talented people we found. You were one of them. Right. So please don't do that. But I appreciate you for coming and explaining your side of the story. But you got you on the show. Ain't no time they got you on the show. Ain't no doing our hell helped you. No, I it never said help. I never said doing hair helped me get on. I'm saying I already had new Tiny from doing her hair um, one or two times before. And that's how with radio, I knew her because I had attended several uh, several of her events before ever going on the show. She just did not. I just did not make myself super, 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 super known. But when when I tell you when when I open my mouth, that's when she remember. And I said, you remember I did your hair? And she was like, oh, my God, that was you. I was, you know, Freddie O the, was the one that put me on. I was filming Shakana and Tiny uh, helping, assisting on set when they did the Shakana Joe and YouTube, Shakana Joe and uh, Tiny YouTube show. I yeah. was there. All right. So you. that relationship is not, it's, 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 it's not just based on me okay. saying, you know what I'm saying, I'm praising her because I praise gotcha. nobody but God gotcha. at the end of the day. All right. Thank you. Appreciate you. Love you. Yeah, love you too. I'm gonna take The point of the backstory, I have no clue of. I have no clue what the backstory is. If you saying it's your talent, I'm saying it's your talent. I don't, what, what you saying, you, oh, it come from, because I, I, I got a show because I knew Fred. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Freddie O didn't even start working for the show until a motherfucker so, so got after auditions. So that's not even true. Freddie O came, up, came after that. That's not even, so I don't even know what he's talking about. When he came up there, he sung. He sounded good. He got on the show. What I just want to say, um, on some real shit, like, I know the bad story. You and Shakana did do the most. And, you know, I I was not supposed to say now because, you know, I ain't the type of person who really tell what go on in the back scene because the show was already handpicked or whatever, but and you know that Shakana and Shaq used to be on the phone all motherfucking night talking about this show every day, every night. I used to be talking about the show, talking about the show to the point Shakana was like, "Let's go ahead and do it for real." And that's when her and Shaky you no know, the money do the shit. And I just feel like it's so fucked up how like that shit going on. How people are trying to praise the other person when they should have been saying thank you to Shakana and thank you to Tiny because you got to realize something. Sha- would nobody know none of us if Shakana would not went live with us and talk? You know what I'm saying? And help us. 
So that's what I just feel like the shit that's sad as fuck. But that's all I had to say. Thank you, Shaky, and thank you to Shakana for giving me the opportunity to be on the show. And I'm thankful for that shit. And that's just period. Thank you. That was another case. That was another case. I know this. At this point, at this point, to my knowledge, and from what I'm looking at, and from what I'm doing, everything that I was asked to do, I did. Every dollar I was asked to pay, I paid. Every time I was asked to do something, I did. I even offered to do more stuff if I needed to. I had proof of all this. I, was even, I even offered to do more stuff if I needed to because I believe in this show so much. This show is a winner. This show is no doubt not about it. Everybody in the mouth watch it. It's too much mess going on. It's too much, it's too much, it's too much LGBTQ plus people with too much mess and too much talent. It's just too much. It's exciting. When I when I saw what was being said, I couldn't take my eyes off it. It was just, and I'm not saying that. I'm saying it because I'm watching it. And so as I'm sitting down there watching and praying and like, what's like God, what's gonna be the next step? Because it's something I believe in. I'm from New Orleans, so I I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, so I do talk a little New Orleans. I'm so sorry. But I'm just saying that. From this perspective, y'all mad because I'm in live with her. Let's go. I'm not mad because you can go live with nobody's sister. I'm not mad. Nah, if somebody else is, I don't know what it is. Y'all can't be mad with somebody for doing something to you. I want you to win. I fought for you. I fought for you. I don't post. I ain't post nobody else either. You forgot about that. I ain't post. I ain't post nobody else audition but yours. So um, understand that. Why are you thinking that? And so my belief in the show, Shekinah belief in the show, is only right now being derailed because of the person y'all thank you for the show, from what I'm saying, and from somebody being on that side. And that's the part that hurts me. I have to look at y'all, and I'm not, who's mad? I never said, And that just, it's just like, I, and I know, and I, I trust the process. I believe what's for you is for you. And what's for you for you. But it comes to the point where I'd have been told, okay, I'm not finna, I can't sell a show. So, cause guess what? Everybody got a right to the show in my opinion. And I think that hold up legally. I mean, I made sure I kept my receipts. I made sure I kept uh, the verbal contracts. I, as far as the calling zone and everything, I made sure I kept my stuff straight. Y'all know me. I'm gonna make sure I'm straight. So I know what, I, as far as me, but at the end of the day, it's not about me. It's about the show. I don't fuck shit. I want the show to happen. I want the show to happen. So I really feel like that it's like I was even told that if I just go take the show and go try to sell it without their permission, I'll be sued. Why is you holding up the show? Why is this show being held up? I was told, this is what I was told, that, I, that the day I sell this show, Tiny ready to put that lawsuit on, but put the people on me for trying to sell a show. Even though I, I offered her money, she refused it. I offered to buy from her, buy her rights to it, she refused it. But at the end of the day, she don't want to do it. She's still gonna do it. But you can't. You, but it's being held up for what? I have done everything I have. I have had spent hours on the phone with everybody, and it's hurtful to me at this point to see people going around praising somebody for putting together something that they look like to me is trying to turn out and i don't know if that's the case i don't know if that's the per i don't know if it's just something that they try to do to if she's trying to do something i don't know to get back at Chicago. i don't know all i know is this this was a damn good show and the people that's involved the talent that's involved they don't deserve that no matter what else going on we don't deserve that there ain't nothing for lgbtq plus Ain't nothing for us. Pride Month just passed. Ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing. We got a, they got a, we got a Bush, BS Network. We got the RuPaul Show and Pose. And they just canceled Pose. We ain't got nothing. Else. What else we got? What else we got? So if you have illegal issues, sell a show. Let the people go. Let, like, let the people go. Sell a show. We, all, like, so we had a nice, we had a, we had a good structure as far as payment plan, everything. 
I don't, and so I'm at the premiere. I don't know what to do. I, but I have to sit down and watch her being praised for, the, for putting the show on. Man, I'm going to speak out. Y'all know I'm a person that never did care. It is what it is. The truth going to always set me free. I'm going to always tell the truth. I'm a P Valley for us. Punks, I'm sorry, gay people, LGBTQ. Plus. I wouldn't want us to say punks. I'm just not the opposite way. LGBTQ people. I don't know what, what's the community we have. I don't know what to do. I have no clue. I have no clue at this point. I just know that we was, I just know that I had to watch cast members of the show that they praised somebody for giving them an opportunity for a show that didn't give them an opportunity for for real. That's just what it is. Baby, I can leak the show and I'm going to get a lawsuit for real. I don't know, Black. I'm going to just be honest with you. I, I just want to come live because I saw them on her live praising her for this show. And that's just not the truth. Leak it how? So then, ain't no girl. Listen, y'all have to understand that stuff legal and you dealing with them people. That's just directly wrong. No, she didn't take the money. The money went to people. We kept receipts for what we paid for. So it's not. It's no. It's no such thing as no. Nobody took the money. I never directly gave nobody no money as far as neither one of them. It went to the expense of the show. That's what the receipts were for. I don't care. So, like, it wasn't no scam. How? How? How was this scam? I'm going to add black and it's going to be the last person in Atlanta and I'm going to go because it was also a case. Number. No, I looked at the contents. What's up, baby? What's going on? So, basically, legally, all y'all own a part of the show, right? Right. So... It is it's definitely something that can be done about it. Cause just because just because she don't want to like sell it or whatever like that, it's so, it's a way that y'all can go around it because y'all spent a lot of money for that show. And even though me and Shakana had our little differences in the past or whatever like that, I feel like y'all worked hard to put something together for us to present our talents to you know put ourselves out there. Y'all worked damn hard on that show for somebody just to up and say. You know, no, it ain't gonna happen. Just one person. That ain't fair. It's not fair. So I feel like y'all could do something about it. I don't know what, but I'll talk to some people and see what's up because I know I want to want it to happen. I know the Wind Twins want it to happen. I know Tommy wanted it to happen. I know everybody who was a part of that show, we wanted it to happen. And even family members who I told like we were filming and stuff like that, they like, bitch, what the fuck? What's going on? You was gone for a whole week, almost two weeks, feel me? Away from family, friends, my kids, all this stuff, like working hard to put something on the show for, for the broadcast, the LGBTQ community, and somebody just tell us no, right. that it's not going to happen. So in the morning, I'm just going to um, call some people, and I'll just see. I ain't going to get into it. I'll just send you some numbers. Okay. All right. Now, I will say this and reiterate my position on it. As far as her, personally, I have nothing against her. She's not done me nothing personally. But I will say that as far as this on a vision or business-wise, it just seems like bad business at this point. And so as, and I, as I'm looking at it and I'm wanting to, like, and I'm just looking at it and it's just like I've been quiet for a very long time. But I've, I've been silent for a very long time. It's just, it's, it's too much at this point. It's just too much. And I got to sit down and watch people think somebody. And I'm sitting out here lost at lost at the opportunity. Lost at my time. Lost at my money. Lost at my vision. Lost at all this stuff. And then to know somebody on the other end lost at their money, which is double what I put in, plus some. Lost at their vision because it's their idea. Lost at their hard work because they set up there at 4 o'clock in the morning. She kind of up in there 4 o'clock in the morning and still filming. Baby, time was sleeping by that time. Eight hours. Chilling. When I stayed at the house the whole time. I stayed full five in the morning filming, doing confessionals. It was very, very grueling. And it, it's just, it's just, oh my God, it's such a good show. It's such an awesome show. And it's so well put together and so well thought out. It's so funny. It's hilarious. And when you also, too, you got them moments when you listen to what people talk about 
and you learning how people as far as you hear some people in the trans community in background you hear some people in the, in the gay community some people in the uh in in the, in the um trans man community lesbian community as well and you listen to some of the stories and how because we even had a session about coming out and it was just man it's to the point where you i was i literally laughed till i couldn't stop in the beginning cried all through the middle brought me to tears and then it's just at the end felt in power and it's just like it's you I just can't lie because I'm in my feelings, y'all. I just thought that people thinking this moment, and I and I don't think that's the case. I think I would show is used, it's really being used as a poem to get back at your time. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for indulging me for a few moments. I believe uh, I don't know what to think about everything else. I'ma just go ahead and tell y'all that. Uh, so that's what it is, y'all. Draw y'all all conclusions. Um, I somebody know that something I could do or something, let me know. But I don't know. That's just what it is.